Um, I think cyberbullying is the use of technology to target an individual or a group of individuals and um, kind of attack them. My friend from school, he was on MySpace and a lot of uh, the people on there would target him individually and call him all sorts of names. and. He became so uncomfortable that he stopped coming to school. It made everyone uncomfortable to see it and not know what to do. Well, you can say what you want, but you have to know that it's going to hurt people. I think everyone has the right to say what they want until it infringes on other people's rights. Everyone should be able to be on a website and feel comfortable and safe, and as soon as someone says something that stops them from feeling safe and comfortable, then it's not right. Well, the law says that uh, the school can discipline the students if, it, if another student interfered with their right to feel secure. I think it is a school issue, especially the dilemma isn't clear, but if it was done on school campus, like a lot of smartphones have access to Facebook now. So if it was done, say during lunch and posted during lunch, then it's especially a school issue. But it also could affect the learning environment if Krista no longer feels comfortable in the classroom because all of these students have seen it, then it's up to the school to discipline. definitely have an ethical responsibility um like i said like we can say whatever we want but if it affects someone else then it's not right and if we see something posted about someone that makes that person feel uncomfortable then it's up to us to do something because as soon as you see it you are now involved as well i think mark should go to um the teacher that he trusts and then to the administration. If the administration gets involved that can settle everything down but the situation isn't going to just go away and if it even if Chris's situation goes away if it's not dealt with it's just going to keep happening to another student. Well there's some teachers that I respect a lot and that I tell I tell them a lot so if something like that happened I would tell them. And honestly, I think he needs to go to some uh, responsible adults that he trusts to ask for some guidance. As a school administrator, um, I would say we have resources for students like Mark to, well, first of all, he mentioned, or the scenario did, that he had a, a favorite teacher or a teacher to talk to. I think that's always a good idea to talk to a trusted um, and responsible adult, uh, including his parents, would be a good option too. Uh, within a school setting, frankly, you know, a trusted teacher or adult or his counselor. Many schools, like our school, has a social worker uh, or even someone like me. I'm not sure that it makes any difference whether it's the internet or through mail or a phone call, frankly. I think that we all have responsibilities to treat one another uh, with due respect. Not necessarily. Not necessarily? No. Why wouldn't it be? Well, I don't know where they were when it was posted, and frankly, I don't have the ability to track all that technology down. What I do deal with are issues that become disruptive for students uh, within the day and if they're feeling bullied or pushed around or harassed then I deal